hey folks uh, it's 5:35 5:30 roughly 5:30 in the evening and i am at home as you can see i am sitting in the balcony of my home um, as you might have seen in the news uh, institute of science is closed sorry so iic is closed and all the students were asked to uh, get back home because of the coronavirus fear uh, the virus is spreading very very aggressively <coughs> across the world after china italy is the most affected and uh, the number of deaths reported from there daily is very high uh, as i speak now there are more than 10400 deaths across the world and in india 223 cases have been reported and across the world around 240000 cases have been reported i think you might have seen uh, details about the coronavirus the precautions that you need to take and all i do i'm not going to repeat, repeat all that here please stay safe everyone and uh, try as much as possible try to stay indoors uh, some people might have to go out for work every day wherever possible work from home for me uh, i am type title this video as uh, research in the time of coronavirus uh, it's clearly a challenge uh, because already uh, doing phd has lot of uncertainty in it. already uh, doing psd has a lot of uncertainty in it you are always already, already in tension when can you finish it and all and uh, such such kind of a healthcare crisis while it hurts your mind it also hurt like it, it makes you feel very worried about the world in general because you are also part of this research community that is trying to address these healthcare problems and also you have your uh, insecurities also as to when you can finish and all so we have been asked to come home uh, i am working from home uh, i am trying to finish some of my readings i had always thought of reading uh, a lot of things for my phd work i am trying to do those things now and also uh, doing some writing so if you see uh, around 40% of phd work is about writing you have to write research papers you have to write your thesis there's a lot of writing involved so i'm trying to see what all writing i can do while i work from home and anyway i have not gone, i don't venture out much this is the road here in front of my house and i'm taking this video from the balcony okay so uh, this is first part of my video please stay safe everyone and uh, work is one thing but your health <coughs> is more important but the main thing about coronavirus is that if you are young you are not going to get affected much but you being a carrier might affect the health of a lot of people so that responsibility should be there in your mind so try to stay at home and not not break the chain uh, kerala government has started this break the chain campaign so you break the chain so that you don't spread the disease as much as happens in italy italy is kind of the worst case scenario that can happen it's very difficult condition there it's very difficult to control uh, the problem is that you will you will cause a uh, pressure on the healthcare system and there won't be enough hospital beds to take care of the serious cases that is the main problem with the coronavirus the disease itself is not that uh, uh, grave or dangerous but a lot of serious cases may come and the healthcare system might get uh, might collapse very quickly because they cannot handle so many patients okay so that's what is here i am sitting at home trying to do the reading and the mathematical and the writing part of my uh, thesis uh, what is my thesis i will put another video later on uh, i have got an award from dst uh, for popular scientific writing the article is not online yet it's called dst avasar uh, that means uh, Uh, augmenting writing skills for articulating research it's an award for popular science writing uh, given by dst i have got a best uh, award under the best stories category top 100 stories uh, it includes a cash prize of 10000 and a certificate uh, but uh, after some time they'll put the story online after it puts the story online i will talk to you till then i am not allowed to do that so but the title of my work is already there you can go and check dst avasar website okay so this is these are things i have been interested in trying to write um, talk in a popular science way what is popular science uh, popular science is uh, you talk your research the complex research that you do in a way that a common man can understand <coughs> and appreciate so how can you do that that is how you write a popular science article so this competition was for writing such an article and i wrote such an article and uh, so that is one part so this is first part of my video second part <coughs> what i want to tell you is uh, many people have asked me uh, this is uh, maybe the right time where i can sit and talk uh, to you uh, even though there are a lot of work but still i can sit and talk uh, many people have asked me whether i should do a phd in the us whether i should do a phd in europe whether or i should stay back <coughs> and do a phd in india uh, 
the thing is uh, the philosophy or the idea of a phd is quite different in the us uh, in the uk or the or europe and in india okay so generally in us it takes around 5 years minimum or roughly 4 and a half 5 years to do your phd unless uh, you have your problem very well defined um, in europe it takes around 3 years but this is the main thing that people tell oh in europe you can quickly finish your phd you should do your phd in europe only in 3 years khatam ho jayega uh, in us it takes a lot of time and in india anyway people tell it will take 6 7 years uh, your phd so these are all misconceptions <coughs> The timeline may be correct, but the idea of a PhD itself is very different in all these countries. So in US, it takes uh, around five years. Correct. Why is that so? That is because uh, you are the. It's it's they consider it as a training to do research in your particular field. Okay. So your PhD project. So there will be one main project which will be the which will form your thesis. So your PhD project is only a part of the training. There are a lot of other aspects of the training which they consider. One is doing other research projects, funded research projects in the lab, raising funding for the lab to do other projects, raising funding for your own project, which might be in when, when you start up, it might be in its very primitive stage, but uh, you raise funding for your project, uh, you get it funded. Then taking courses, you need to take uh, one one and a half years of coursework uh, that can aid. It's like a research training program. You take courses for uh, aiding you in your research work. Then you take classes to students. You perform TA ships, teaching assistantships. Uh, then there are a lot of other funded and non-funded projects part of your PI or your guide that you will be able to, that you will be doing. So and you get paid for doing that work. So uh, the idea is that you get paid. It's like a job. You get paid uh, kind of like a little bit above the minimum wages. It's kind of like a job, but what is the job for the job that you are getting actually paid for doing all this other work like the other projects in the lab the ta ship uh, helping the professor with his research work generally the lab maintenance purchase of equipment in the lab lot of these things so you get paid for this and in return you get you you are given the guidance of the professor as well as his lab facilities to carry out your research are you getting the point so you are getting the facilities and the guidance of the guidance of the professor in return for the services that you are giving so your phd problem is is still your baby it's all your idea it might be polished and refined by your guide but fundamentally it has to be your problem which you try to somehow address do sufficient experiments and make a thesis you may not get enough time to do that and you cannot complain also because that's how the phd work is you get paid for all this work it's like a job so that is why many a times it takes a lot of a lot of time to finish your phd but the thing is there's a lot of Holds some training involved, so it's like two sides of the coin. So there are a lot of training in other things like uh, research proposal writing, uh, working in multiple projects, multitasking, how projects are carried out in a research environment, how a lab is maintained, how do you do procure items, how do you procure chemicals, a lot of things. And along with that, you do your research work, and in four and a half five years, you write up your thesis and you defend it. That's the idea of uh, the PhD. in phd in usa in europe things generally i'm talking about general as well things are quite different in europe you are already recruited for a funded project so they already have a funded project which needs to be completed in a set timeline who are the resources that carry out this project are the phd students so you get recruited to this project and you do most of the time only that project as part of your phd you are maybe you do some lab work where you do procurement and that too might be for your own work equipment procurement chemical procurement but then you focus on only your work and that will be for a fixed time period of 2 and up to 3 years you don't really get involved in other uh, other projects of the lab or other activities very minimal coursework and a pa in you uh, very minimal coursework why because in europe the idea is that you can go for a phd only after a masters degree there is idea of direct phd uh, directly after your graduation under graduation in usa but that that concept is not there in europe specifically for this reason if you are recruited very it's a very clearly defined problem you don't really have an idea of what you it's like you cannot uh, most of the time you don't bring in your problem if you will be recruited for a particular project and you do that project meet the deadlines for that project and in turn that becomes your thesis and even thesis writing is quite different in the europe and in the us in us you write up your thesis from the introduction all the chapters everything and your publications that come out of your thesis are a separate story altogether those two are different 
but in many European universities, you don't really have to write a separate thesis. Whatever publications that have come out of your work, you just pin it together with a cover sheet and some introduction and you can submit as your thesis. So these are different ideas of PhD and uh, they have values in different aspects. So an industry may be more in interested in a uh, PhD that has happened in the Europe, but for a faculty position, the PhD training in US university might be better. This is how the idea of a European PhD and a US, US PhD are different. I can speak much more in detail about this, but generally this is the difference. So that's why the European PhD gets over like in two and a half, three years. Another thing is, if the funding gets over in three years, you will be directly asked to leave, leave. or you have to stay there as fully funded with your own money, self-funded and try to finish your thesis. Otherwise, you will have to leave and the contract will expire, visa obligations will be there and you will have to leave the country also. So it's very tricky. And same the same level of trick, uh, trickiness is there in US also, but then you get more time. Now coming to India, so Indian PhD is kind of you can say a mix of all these things, and uh, by and large defined by the training of your supervisor. If your uh, guide has got his PhD from a US university or a European university, the way he approaches how uh, to, to guide you <coughs> will also be in that manner. That's how and. Uh, and in India, it's not clearly uh, defined that you are you might have a very defined problem when you start. Some professors, uh, at the end of your second year only, you will be having an idea of what you want to do. Some start off with a very good idea of what they want to do. So it's 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 not very well structured in India. It depends on the professor. So it can vary from as low as three years to it can go up to in uh, biological sciences it can go up to six seven years because work, working with biological systems it's inherently very difficult. That's why it takes time. You need to have a lot of experiments to be carried out over a long period of time. Some experiments, my animal experiments will last for 3-4 months and at the end of the day that experiment fails, you will have to repeat it. So that's why it takes 6-7 years. It depends on the nature of the problem. It's a, if it's a purely simulation based on mathematical problem, it may not take that much time. But impact of the work will also be accordingly different. So and uh, you cannot compare one field with the other. In some field, all the publications might be published in very high impact factor journals. That need not be the case in another field, but that doesn't mean that that field is not important. In that field, that is a great journal, but that may not have a good impact value. So these are small, small things that I wanted to talk to you about. But overall, my idea of this uh, video is that coronavirus is happening. Please stay safe. Please be very serious. Advise your, if you have got an idea of how serious the situation is, advise your family members, advise your parents <coughs> to not do unnecessary travel and maintain social distancing you do self curfew like our prime minister has told and uh, try to make use of this time so that when you look back actually if you see such kind of a pandemic global pandemic happens very rarely in human history maybe once in two centuries so you are going through an eventful period in human history okay so surely you will you are going to tell it to your children later on when you get old that this happened i was there and i was did this so do something good so that you can remember that okay when I mean, this happened I did some volunteering or I worked on my thesis I did some good work from home things I made some articles I ha I made use of the time fruitfully it changed my entire approach towards life something something good so that you can feel that okay I made use of this time so do something good that is one part of what I wanted to talk to you another thing is the differences between uh, American PhD US PhD European PhD <coughs> and the PhD in India so I will keep making a few more videos and uh, we'll see you again. We'll, I'll keep seeing you. I hope all of you are keeping good. Please take care. I think great results have come. And uh, please apply wisely and uh, don't have any prejudices. So I got this iPad uh, to make my notes and I will be making few of my lectures also on this iPad. We'll see that soon. Please take care. Bye.